Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with JNSQ and Realism Overhaul. So JNSQ is a system that's scaled somewhere between stock and real solar system. And this particular install I've introduced before is meant to allow for people to do more things with base building and station building and more role play than maybe a real solar system install might afford because of the time scales and just the onerousness of launching things in real solar system and I'm still working on that idea but the goal is role playing in general after all Kerbal Space Program was originally a sandbox game there used to be a lot more uh, free style role playing involved before career mode came about and I'm sort of still into that mode and to that end I've been making parts and of course I've previously introduce that sort of Mars slash Duna settlements that I've been testing close to the Space Center here and I've done some development on that so that's what I'm introducing in this video. We'll go take a look at that but I've also got other ideas that I've decided to put into motion and all this is so that Kerbals have stuff to do and we want the Kerbals to be active in things. If, if all we have is buildings that generate stuff and buildings that, that get busted and then you have to launch a new one or something like that that's not so great but if we're generating stuff like food as a ploppable that the Kerbals plant for instance uh, like lettuce or corn or amaranth in that case because I don't like weeds that much uh, I mean I like wheat I eat wheat a lot but uh, for growing on another world probably amaranth is better um, tomatoes and stuff like that but the idea is that the Kerbals will take these in their inventories and then plant them and these act as resource converters so they take water and produce other things in this case I go straight to flour I don't need you guys to mill it or anything like that though if we wanted to do that that would be another step and another thing that a Kerbal would do but uh, we don't have to do everything but here we've got flour being produced by that or corn produces flour and syrup and lettuce produces greens so I've created these new resources greens and flour and such so that we can aid in role play tomatoes are tomatoes and uh, the, the goal was to make pizza <laughs> so we have pizza here probably shouldn't put lettuce in pizza but let's leave that alone for a sec and pizza is just a food container and then there's ovens where you take the uh, take cheese we've got cheese wheels and then meats uh, and flour and turn it into food so it's like that you don't have to have the Kerbals necessarily sit and do this uh, it'll all be done in the background and I'm using simple logistics so that all the resources automatically move from place to place so you don't have to have a like hook up a pipe to a lettuce plant in order to get the greens moved from one place to another no a simple logistics as long as everything's in render range within two kilometers of everything else uh, then the stuff will get transferred automatically is the goal so yeah that is the that is the aim and the dream and all this will happen in greenhouses so I had to add a greenhouse to that Mars settlement or Duna settlement that I have out there and we'll go out to see how that looks and I haven't seen it in detail yet so it'll be me looking at it myself I've pre previously made flower bags also aquaponics here, elect, uh, clean water, electric charge tr generates meats, greens, tomatoes, and wastewater. And also there's a hydroponics one like this. And again, that, that produces lettuce greens and stuff like that. So there's all manner of these. And then the Kerbals could potentially carry these and plop them around using the stock uh, inventory system or KIS as well. Uh, depending on how KIS wants to pack these, these are pretty big after all. But the plants they can definitely carry around and uh, ovens and stuff like that. So, but maybe the Kerbal inventories need to also be increased in size. I'll have to see. Uh, so I have a little rover that we're going to use to carry things out. And actually, I had a, one that was modified here uh, with a KIS container. And the KIS container already has some uh, drills. We'll be drilling the plants into the ground. And amaranth. I thought there was two amaranths, but I only have one there. Okay, so one amaranth and two lettuces in there for now. And maybe you don't want to go into this kind of detail on stuff, that's fine. But it's interesting because now it's not a building 
that's doing it. You go inside the building and plant the stuff and that makes it a little bit more interesting. And there's more going inside stuff in order to mess with things. And then you can have failure. Uh, the plants can have a failure rate now. So basically dying. So that is the idea. That's the idea. Let's uh, pick some Kerbals to sit in here and send them out. So my goal is to go out to the greenhouse and plant some plants. Now the greenhouse already has plants, but they're not going to generate anything because the greenhouse as part of that thing is uh, Kerbal Constructs part and Kerbal Constructs things don't produce anything, they don't interact like that. So we can't make them generate resources unless somebody creates a plugin that lets the Kerbal Constructs stuff generate resources somehow. I don't know how that would work out. Uh, but so we actually have to have the Kerbals place these things inside the Kerbal Constructs habitat in order to make the habitat worthwhile. Now there's nothing right now limiting uh, the plants from being grown anywhere. In other words, if the Kerbals place them anywhere, they'll still produce the food products. And so that's the downside. Again, that would take a plug-in to modify, and I uh, do not currently have the skills to make said plug-in. We should probably be careful about going up the collider here. Uh, I've added uh, solar arrays to the left side there. There's also a landing pad for the starships to the right, and I'll need a method of conveyance from the landing pad into the domes. And the reason I decided to have the line pad all the way out there is, of course, shockwaves and stuff like that. We don't want it too close. So, as you can see, the terrain works fairly well. And the whole thing, all this, all the domes, the pads and everything, all of it is 117 megabytes. So far. There are a lot of colliders involved. Now I'm going here. The greenhouse is that one. And I made... Basically, this, the two domes I had introduced previously, somebody asked for flatter domes, so I made flatter domes. And so there are two shapes of flatter domes. However, I kept it hexagon because it was easier. Uh, and that may or may not be a good thing because the hexagons get distorted anyway. Uh, but if I tried to make it the same look as the greenhouse and other straight pieces, that doesn't work perfectly either for a dome anyway. So, I'm not too sure which motif I want to do with those. But, the idea is that the Mars ones will probably be the tall ones, because they'll have star they'll be encasing starships as their main tower or something like that. And then, uh, we'll have the other planets have the other kind of dome, maybe. Anyway, let me get somebody out of their seat. Now, make sure that they have food water. I don't know what's make yeah, making them have no food, water, and oxygen initially. And why can't I transfer the water? I don't know. I thought that was okay before, so now I'm worried. Okay, well that should be enough of that stuff. Hopefully it's enough water. Oh, well, now he's got water. The airlock doors don't have colliders on them right now. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise I've done something wrong. Okay, yeah, no colliders. Uh, though actually the airlock bottom should have a solid thing and there are colliders around though so you can't walk through this but just through that and we've got a whole bunch of these habitats now I had tried to put trees this is one thing that uh, I was adding into this and you can see the trunk of the tree but it looks like the leaves haven't happened but they were somebody else's tree that I was trying to use and so we would have trees in here, but I think I'm gonna have to model my own to make it work with low polys and such. These were relatively low poly trees, and so not very, uh, you know, taxing on systems. But also the ground seems to have gotten to a lower level. It's supposed to be this ground. You can you saw it briefly there. It was supposed to be the green ground texture, but I've shifted things a bit, so apparently uh, that has gotten lower. So I'll have to move things. All right, let's go through the airlock. There's actually a double door here. And here's that, that texture that was supposed to be there. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh. Are you okay? Alright. Alright, so uh, now we're in the greenhouse. And... I forgot to take the plant, didn't I? Anyway, there are plants here already. 
I didn't put a collider on the dirt strips. This is one of the aquaponics things. Not the best water texture ever. Oh, and the water texture is a little bit high. Okay, well this is again a case where I have to look at things to see what need to be fixed. And that's why I'm going around with my Kerbal here. Oh, only one or in ten liters. I don't know if any of the plants can fit in there. We'll see. Uh, Kerbal inventory system scales the plant due to its own measurement of the collider, so... So that's what determines the volume it takes up. Let me see. Oh, no. Oh, 1.11.2. Uh, Gosh darn you. Hold on, let me, let me, let me get a drill. Let me equip a drill. Let me just read some. Maybe we can't place it. Uh oh, it disappeared. Oh, it exploded. Well, that would be a problem. Okay, we just gotta put a lettuce on the side of this. Okay, first things first. We've got a lettuce on the side of it. Um, the lettuce collider isn't happening. Ah, uh, no. Something about the lettuce collider is wrong. Okay, amaranth. Well, it's attached there now. Does that have a good collider? Okay, amaranth. Hmm. But its converter doesn't seem to be working like this. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe my idea of how to do this doesn't work because it, it has a converter. But when I place it like this, it doesn't seem to. I mean, the thing is, I could make it into like a solar panel where it automatically generates food. That's another thing. I could make this a lot simpler where it just automatically generates food and doesn't consume anything. And that's another way to go with this. And in theory, the Kerbals can carry the solar panels in their inventory and place the solar panels, and the solar panels will just generate power, right? So there has to be a way to make this work. But I don't seem to have the way to make this work. Okay, can we plant it here? Oh, it doesn't like that. Why don't you like it there? Maybe it wasn't properly attached to the vehicle. It doesn't seem to want to attach to anything, does it? Node cannot be used for surface attach. Okay, well, I'll have to fix that. Maybe that's the issue. Okay, you're there. Maybe if it's attached, it would be usable. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, I think I need to change a whole lot of stuff about KIS. <laughs> we need more, more capacity for stuff. And... I'll need to change the node on this. I don't know what's happening with the collider on the lettuce, but here we are. These are my plans. And uh, if you have suggestions, uh, feel free to give them. But you know, there are downsides to this, like the solar panels over there, they don't generate any electric charge as they are because they're just Kerbal constructs for show. And so if I want to make them do anything, we'd have to have them ploppable or deliverable somehow, some rover would have to place them or something. And so that's complicated. We probably want nuclear reactors and stuff like that too, and probably a lot of the usual UI, USI stuff. So anyway, th these are the plans I have in mind, and you can let me know what you think about them, but it's, it's not an easy thing to do, and I don't even know if doing the plant thing with the resource converters is going to actually work. Clearly it's not working right now. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.